Hi, baby, it's Vidic here, and a welcome back to Rune X. Today's video is my ultimate starting guide. When you're playing Rune X for the first time, it can be really confusing because it's much, much different than OSRS. So I'm going to show you guys the most efficient way to start here on Rune X. I've also got lots of really great tips. Even if you're a seasoned player already, you might learn something. Now before we get into everything, I'm giving away a $100 bond. All you gotta do to answer is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your Runex in-game name down below. So you first make your character, you can dress him up how you want. Perfection. Now it's time to choose your experience mode. There's four different modes. It gets lower and lower experience as you go, but you get some extra perks, most notably the drop rate bonus, plus 5, plus 7.5, with a 5% chance of double drops, and then the best bonuses on Prime Mode, but of course it's very slow XP. Now for the sake of the video, I'm going to do a normal account, but I would say Hard is probably the most balanced with the XP and the extra drop rate bonus. And of course you can also choose to be an Iron Man, a hardcore Iron Man with one life, or an ultimate Iron Man that can't bank. That's a little tutorial at the beginning, if you're new, I recommend checking it out, but I'll be showing you everything important, so you don't gotta worry too much about it. For lower levels, this beginner's amulet will actually upgrade your gear as you level up. Definitely want to throw that on. Also, you definitely want to click on this referral box. You'll get some extra stuff, and you're going to want to click Vidic. It doesn't really matter which one you click. It'll all be the same, but appreciate it. 5 mil and a grand elixir. Definitely want to save this. So a lot of these starter guides I've seen tend to just focus on the daily money-making activities. These are really important. Don't get me wrong. But I want to start off by getting you acquainted with all the most important stuff, especially around the home area. Now before you do anything else, I highly recommend you vote. If you vote once a day, you'll complete this activity, you'll get a few different things and voting tickets. Once you voted, just type colon, colon, claim, and there you go. Now there's so many different NPCs, ways to upgrade your gear, enchantment chests, rune coin exchanger. I'm going to show you in order which ones you should focus on. And the first most important one is the Runex point store right here. Doing pretty much anything in the game will give you Runex points. You also get a lot of them from these point mystery boxes. There we go, 150. There's a lot of great stuff here. One of the things you'll definitely buy early on is the Tome of Fire for Mage. That's a very important one. And then as you get more points, you can start saving up for stuff like Chaotix, Extra Prayers, the Gilded Cannon. Runex points are also spent over here to the east on the Imbue Wizard. There's a lot of different stuff that you can imbue, but you're going to want to focus on getting the Tome of Fire imbued and the Ring of Wealth imbued. Those are probably the two most important ones from this shop. Next up is the Achievement Point Store. This is a very important one as well, especially if you're on a lower XP account. Most notably, these armors that actually boost your experience gained. These Arty Cloaks, which let you teleport directly into God Wars boss rooms. Not all the stuff in the Achievement Point Shop is too great, but if you make a mistake, you can actually sell it back for the price that you bought it. You of course get Achievement Points from completing achievements, but we're going to get into this a little bit later. As you start getting to a higher level, you're also going to want to pay attention to the enchantment chest over here. It's basically a way to upgrade your gear with a certain success rate on each one. It'll probably take you a while to get to this point, but this is how you get some of the best pieces of gear in the game. The rune coin exchanger is just as important as well. You can get some very high level gear from this. You exchange items for rune coins, which you can then spend at the rune coin shop. Lots of great upgrades, including looting bags you can use outside the wilderness, and some best in slot pieces of gear as well. So the basic idea is to loot everything, even dragon stuff you might think it's worthless, but you can exchange it for rune coins. Also, don't forget to check out the Mage of Wisdom. It refreshes every day, and there's basically different challenges for you to exchange stuff for rune coins and lots of rune X points. Like this one would actually be not that hard to do at all. 500 rune coins and 25,000 rune X points is great. So now that you understand a little more how the server works and where to get your upgrades, let's get into actually starting the account. There's some low-level monsters over here you can train on, chickens and yaks, but don't do it. Instead, you're going to want to train on one of two NPCs, Rock Crabs or Experiments. These are a part of the daily money-making activities, and you just kill 20 or 15 of them, and you'll get some extra rewards. So start off on Rock Crabs over here until you have killed 20 of them. As you can see, I'm leveling up, and it's automatically upgrading my gear. Just focus on attack and strength for now. You don't need defense just yet. By the way, when you're doing any of these activities, you can also track them by just clicking that right there. and have a nice little interface showing you how you're doing. Once you hit 60 attack, pick up a Dragon Scimitar, get some Rune Gloves, a Glory, and now start training up your defense so you can actually wear them. There we go, once you kill 20, you go ahead and get your little reward here. Uh, if you're still training, you want to go ahead and move over to Experiments. And there we go, get yourself some extra cash, a Crystal Key as well. And right when you get 70 attack, you're going to want to upgrade to a whip. The trading post right here is an extremely useful tool if you're on a normal account. 
To find prices, you usually want to look at the item history. It'll show you transactions that were actually made so you can see the correct price. And from those activities, you should have enough money to get yourself one. There we go. Gimme, gimme. Now before we get into what to do next and the best beginner money making methods, you'll notice a theme throughout this where I like to sell random chance stuff instead of actually opening it. As a newer player, money is the most important because you need to be buying upgrades. Boat tickets can get you some decent stuff, especially the double drop and triple top drop tokens, but they're about 25 mil each. Crystal keys are about 13 or 14 mil each, so this is over 100 mil cash in our inventory right now. As you get farther in the game, you'll probably start wanting to open up crystal keys, but at the beginning, I just recommend selling them, because you just don't get really that much great stuff. So now, money making. Until you get a lot of gear upgrades and you can start grinding bosses for drops, you really want to focus on the daily money making activities. But there are a lot of them, so which ones do you focus on if you don't have a ton of time each day? First is thieving, not the most amazing rewards, if you were to sell all this, it'd be about over 20 mil, but it's extremely quick, only takes a couple minutes. Start at this stall right here, but um, I definitely recommend doing actual NPCs, because you'll pickpocket them faster. And there we go, took literally just like 2 minutes. And while I recommend, as a new player, selling most of the random chance rewards you get, point mystery boxes are probably one of the most important ones that you just probably want to go ahead and open. You get runex points, slayer points, all that good stuff that you can start building up. Oh, and these fancy mystery boxes just give you fancy stuff. This will fill up your bank super quickly opening these, so you might just want to sell them or save them, unless you're into the fashion scape. The chompy minigame is decent too. The rewards in total are about 52 mil. Shouldn't take you too long. You kill ogres to get the ogre bow and arrows, and then you use those on the chompies down here. You get 250 bonus wimpy feathers for doing 25 of them, and you'll also end up getting like 100 plus extra from killing them, so you can get about 70 mil from this activity, and it shouldn't really take more than 10 or 15 minutes. Now Slayer, this one can take a little bit longer, 75 Slayer targets, the rewards are about uh, 45 mil total, but Slayer is a big part of the game, so you're probably going to be doing it anyways, and there's a few tips to speed that up a lot. This also happens to be the fastest way to get Slayer points, so at a low level, this is definitely a great place to start with Slayer, just do the easy tasks. This one is actually perfect. This is probably the best task you can get on easy, especially because you can extend it for free. And now we have 87 chickens. So that's enough to complete the daily money making task. I only recommend extending the easy tasks if they're chickens though, and if you have not yet completed the Slayer daily money making task. Because otherwise, you just want the tasks to go as fast as possible, so you can get as many Slayer points as possible. There are a lot of really important upgrades from the Slayer store, starting off with the Slayer helmet, really good, and then the Lesser Emblem, and the Greater Slayer Emblem, which you can use both at the same time, and you get a 15% increased drop rate on tasks. So pair that with some boss tasks, and it's a great way to get some of those rare drops. Now keep in mind, all of these tasks will make you money, but some more than others, so that's why I'm showing you, in my opinion, the best ones. Green Dragons are pretty good, it's quite a quick task. This is all sold for 50 mil cash, but as a new player, you'll probably just want to use the bones and open up the point mystery boxes. Ankus will take a little bit longer at 45 total, but you will get 70 mil by selling all this. I showed you guys the rune coin machine earlier. I suggest saving up all of the items that you can exchange until you can get 5,000 rune coins at once, because you will get a free donator mystery box from doing that, and those go for about 250 mil. On normal accounts, I really suggest just selling these. There are some items you can get, obviously worth a lot more than 250, but most of the time you're going to lose money from opening them. The Krazi minigame is good as well. It's going to be tough right off the bat, because you also got to learn some things, but if you sell the rewards, you'll get about 230 mil cash. Now you can't actually bring anything into the minigame, but as you start getting better at it and getting better gear, you can actually store it for later. So once you get it down, you can teleport in here, and this is a super quick way to get some cash. Now, very important to remember the achievement system. This is probably one of the best achievement systems I've seen on any RSPSs. It has a really great tracking system, and it also has tons of great rewards. Lots of them will give you donator mystery boxes, and some even better stuff like chaotic mystery boxes. This is a great one. Complete seven daily Anku challenges. Those are the ones under the money-making activities. And if you complete 50 total daily money-making activities, any of them, you'll get this pretty quick. You'll also get a donator mystery box as well. You can also get another free chaotic mystery box after you kill 2,000 slayer task targets, which sounds like a lot. It, it kind of is, but when you're doing those easy tasks, this will fill up very quickly. So every now and then, just open up the achievement interface, and you can collect all your rewards by clicking this button right here. 
The account information tab will show you all the different points and stuff you have. You're going to want to pay attention to your Rune X points because you're probably going to buy some of your first upgrades with these. This knowledge base right here also has a lot of great stuff. Drop tables, you can also search for specific items and it'll show you which NPCs drop those. And if you're ever confused about something or you want to see what gear you should be upgrading to next, these are really good right here. They got a knowledge database. It'll give you more specific information on a bunch of the stuff in the server. And the item database as well, which can give you a good idea of what upgrades to go for next and what upgrades to buy. Now that you know how the server works, where to get your gear upgrades, the best money making methods for beginners, and what tools to focus on using, let's move into some tips. These are really great to know, but not super obvious. I know a lot of people that have been playing for a while that still don't know about them. First of all, you can actually build an elixir pool inside of your player owned house, but it's tough. You need a lot of each elixir, but luckily you can actually use other people's homes to use it. You can just type slash and ask and help. If you're a little, you know, bashful though, just look for somebody with like a high rank. Try then with three eyes. Most of these guys will have their house open and they'll almost always have an elixir pool for you. When you use this, it's going to give you a lot of great boosts. First of all, Ring of Wealth Imbued Effect. It's going to take you a little bit to get the Ring of Wealth Imbued yourself, so this is really nice to have. Double Rune X points for monster kills, resistance to dragons, and a 5% chance to have a drop doubled. That'll last for an hour and you can do it once every day. Another great one, go ahead and pick up some laws from the magic shop, get some airs, earths as well, and then go to the skilling store and just buy yourself about like a hundred soft clay. And you want to find somebody that has a lectern and go ahead and make a bunch of home teleports. Now I'm not going to be able to, you need 40 magic, but the great thing about teleport tablets is you can teleport out of the wilderness at level 30. On Rune X, the glory actually only teleports you out of wilderness at level 20. But the tablets are one click, they'll teleport you out up to 30 wilderness, since you're probably going to be in the wildy doing money making activities, those are definitely great to get. You can also use other people's gilded altars for offering bones for prayer experience. I do recommend finding a person that has the, uh, the burners on the sides though. Now this is a great tip, whenever you see this in the chat, the enormous mole will be rising. You want to gear up with some magic or ranged gear. Click boss teleports, head over to the giant mole, and then just go south and head through this cave entrance. Throw on protect from ranged, make sure you have this on or you'll get comboed out. I also bring luck tokens whenever I come here. You can get these on your own from voting tickets. These ones do three times, but there's also cheaper ones that do two times. All you gotta do is get one hit on him. So there we go, we're already good. And watch out for these little vines that appear on your feet. Those can damage you and kill you. So with a little thing popping up there, just move out of the way. So loot all the stuff you get from it, and then you're going to want to exchange the skins and the claws over here with Farmer Fred. There we go. Look at all that good stuff. The stuff we got from the mole alone is over 100 mil, including this prize box too, which you can just open for some extra stuff. And my last tip is don't be afraid to ask other people for advice. There are a lot of things to do here on RuneX, a lot of different upgrades you can get, and the community is super helpful and extremely knowledgeable on pretty much everything in the game. For example, if you don't know what gear upgrade to go for next, just go into the clan, type slash, and ask them. There's tons of people that are always happy to help, and you really don't want to waste your time spending hours to get an upgrade that you really don't need. So there you go guys, that is everything you need to know to start your journey here on RuneX. Follow this guide and you'll be making great money off the bat, getting a bunch of gear upgrades, and making your way into bossing and raids as soon as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when I upload more videos. And have a nice day.